people, our pets are more than just cats or dogs. They're members of our family. Absolutely, and the same is true for Bengals punter Kevin Huber and his wife Mindy, who've taken their love of their own pups and turned it into something <laughs> that has a real impact in the community. And Local 12's Adam Clements sat down with the couple and brings us this story. This is where you'll typically find Bengals punter Kevin Huber and his wife Mindy on a rare off day. Oh, thank you. At home with their best friends, Zoe and Piper. I always say we have a Timon and a Pumbaa because they're a big, you know, chunky one and then little, and then our little, little one. Kevin and Mindy are fortunate. So are their pups, but they realize there are far too many animals in the area without the luxury of good homes. Too many local shelters that don't have the means to serve them. There's so many dogs out there that are just left inside the road or forgotten about that need to be taken care of. So the Huber started the Foundation for Underserved Rescues, or FUR. Mindy oh. says it was her own experience when she rescued Piper that sparked the idea. When I first got her, I mean, she, she, I could tell. I mean, it was almost like she looked at me with these little eyes as if she was saying thank you. And she's always right behind me, and she just. It's just you have your best friend there all the time, and you're my best friend too, but she's <laughs> my best friend also. Yeah. They'll hold their first fundraiser this Saturday, an event called Pumps for Pups. It's at 50 West Brewery in Columbia Township. All the money they bring in will go straight to the cause that's so near and dear to their hearts. We want to make events. We want to create a buzz, and we want to help raise money um, through the community um, and through community outreach and give the, those funds and support resources directly to these rescues. Kevin and Mindy know they can't take in every stray or neglected pup they come across, but they say as long as they're doing something to help, they know they're making a big difference. You know, whatever it may be, if it's, you know, Sacred Heart, they need to update their heating system for their, their kennel. Um, or if, you know, let's say one needs food, whatever it is, we just want to be able to help them out in whatever way we can so they can, you know, continue to do the great work they do. And I think one thing that's striking about that is, is going into more detail about how Mindy, her own experience sort of led to this, finding you know her dog at a shelter, the dog had been left on the side of the road. You hear so right. many stories like that. She said some guy tried to shoot the dog, threatened to shoot the dog. It's and terrible. Yeah, and, and, and then going into these shelters and realizing they need help, they need, mm -hmm. they need funds, because some of these shelters end up going under because they don't have the funding, like he said, mm -hmm. to have enough food, to have yeah. heat. Air conditioning and unfortunately, like there are too many animals. Right. I mean, there are so many animals that we have to, we have to have this number of facilities. Which we did that story yeah. earlier about the puppy mills. Right. You know, and I just kept thinking how there, there we had a, there was a soundbite in that story about the person saying, you know, families will spend thousands and thousands on dogs. And I get why? It. And some people want a particular kind I of dog, know. and I get it. I do. I understand. But there are all these wonderful animals out yeah. there who are not going to cost you thousands right. and thousands right. of dollars. It's forty sure bucks, would, sure and it comes spayed and neutered yeah. and shipped yeah. in the whole nine. Right. Exactly. Uh, it's going to be a great event on Saturday. Fifty West Brewing Company goes from noon to two thirty. They're going to offer some special workout sessions. Hence mm -hmm. the pumps for pups. Love it. Uh, they're going to have several dogs up for uh, up for adoption, and they'll have raffles. The Hubers will be there along with some of Kevin's teammates, and we have more details to the event at local12.com. Right. Thanks, Adam.